here with Jana Brown. She and Jet's Top Gun took first place in the first round of our Open here at Ruby Buckle held in Guthrie, Oklahoma. Jana, you and Benny are amazing. I don't think we ever get tired of seeing you guys run together. Um, just you know, talk to me about the feeling of that run yesterday. Um, it was a, it was really smooth. I had running last week at the BBR finals, mm -hmm. and he didn't care for the ground. It was a little firm, and so our last run we made before we came here was not the greatest. So yesterday, my plan was to like just go make a good run and trust my horse and be smooth, and he did just that. I mean, he's he's pretty special. He likes what he does, and I like what he does, and <laughs> it's fun when it happens. And we all like watching what you guys do together. How do you put those runs out of your mind so that you're fresh and focused for the next one? Um, you really just have to kind of pretend like it never happened. Mm -hmm. I was a little concerned if he was going to be sore, you know, or something was wrong because he didn't have the greatest run last Sunday. Mm -hmm. And uh, I worked him in the exhibitions just a little and let him feel the ground here because mm -hmm. it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. And he felt like himself. And so I just kind of cleared my mind and went. And the results spoke for themselves. What is your care program for horses in between these big events? What are those kind of things that you're doing behind the scenes to help them feel their best? I try to let my horses be out um, more than being in a stall. Mm -hmm. um, graze a little bit. Just let them be horses. Don't stress them out, you know, work them too hard. Don't really change what you do at home mm -hmm. if you're at an event and you have to work one. Um, keep them relaxed. Mm -hmm. If you have a happy horse, I feel like they enjoy their job. I mean. We enjoy our jobs and we're happy, so I feel they're the same way. That's very well said. You have trained many successful horses. What are those commonalities that you feel um, are the markers of those great horses that love what they do and consistently show up to win? One of the biggest things for me, um, I feel like, is having a relationship with your horse. I feel like if your horse trusts you and you've started, well, I mean, I get to start them, you know, from three-year-olds on up. And I feel like if I can start one and they trust me and there's a consistency and I can kind of count on them, they can count on me. And if we have a problem, we can work through it and we have something to go back to. Um, I feel like for me, that's what works. I know everybody's different, but, and just keeping them happy. Like I said, you know, don't treat them like a machine. I mean, they are animals, they have feelings and they're like little, I mean, they're like four-legged people. They're all different, but at the end of the day, they have to be—they have to enjoy their job. You are a wife. You're a mom of a busy little guy, and one of the industry's best fraternity trainers. How do you bring everything that you've got going on kind of into harmony? Um, I have a lot of help. Mm -hmm. My husband is a lot of help. I have a great, a couple of great babysitters at home. I have two girls that work for me at the barn. Um, I have a great vet. I have a great horseshoer. Um, I couldn't do any of this without everybody that helps me because yes, Jake is a lot of work. The horses are a lot of work, but it's hard to do both at the same time. And I feel guilty when I'm with the horses that I should be with Jake. And then I feel guilty when I'm with Jake and I should be with the horses <laughs> at an event. But it all, at the end of the day, it all works out. And it's not easy, but I wouldn't trade it. My final question for you is, you're at a point in your career where you know, you've definitely um, established your reputation, and I know you always have big goals that you're working on, but looking back to maybe when you got started as a trainer, what pieces of advice or encouragement do you have for trainers who are just starting out and are focusing on building their career? So I, um, I think the biggest thing is, is you have to set goals, but don't be unrealistic of what your goals should be, you know, and don't ever say that you're not going to take advice from someone or try something new because sometimes things work out for you like in the end that you don't think would and don't ever be afraid to, to try something new or take advice from someone you can take it or leave it but every little bit helps that and is. don't and don't get discouraged when one day is terrible because it can turn around the next that is such good wisdom. Congratulations on a beautiful first round. We wish you the best of luck today Thank in the you. second round. Thank you for coming and being a part Thanks. of Ruby Buckle. Thank you.